darn, 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 yeah. Josh, we'll do, we'll do it again, man. Pick, pick right back up. I'm tired of this shit, man. <laughs> Yo, that's why your generation paid. I look at the street like a tree with no leaves. Branches bare for blue skies to see Where my people find where Puppets of a Rothschild like British Crown Yet here we found still Activating Ethiopian Crown Council Rocking that Jockin and Boaz Shine the sins down like Topaz Even bring repent to Moab Canaanites who wanna fight Judah Yet only use words through computer <laughs> Death Angel is a commuter Traveling. Moving along more paths than trains Or aerial flight patterns Once your Saturn gone, it's a shame Damn shame. Niggas be sucker ducks Hardcore and can't get enough Rough like trucks Man, my mind's gone Too old to bone Damn. Leave that brother chrome Now he a terrorist For uprooting the edifice Break your base down Mouth turn it clown Who gon' turn it down? Crown like my family died Staying alive all by the hand of Yah Remember the days of the temple Now I see it in the mental Warning. Discretion more than parental. Hey yo, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Snapping off heads of chief rabbis. End up dead. How you gon' slander the chastiser? Y'all not riders. Love of fame make liars. Y'all eat cream briars. Never love when our brothers turn coat. Uh uh. They hate Yahweh. Yep. They deserve the moat. Dead bodies float where Christians read. Drinking blood of Jebus. Y'all kill your children with each lie. There's only one safe one, and y'all can't die. Uh -uh. Our minds are not the most highs, but we can still deliver rain from the skies. Turn your weed purple. Smoke. Abraham, children will hurt you. Let us find out you slander ancestors. Yep. Like your sins are forgiven. <laughs> you haven't prayed to Yah, you still content with barely living. Y'all still trying to crucify Yasharal. Your image of God is really Baal. Saul of Paul is small, suffering under laws. Can't gird your loins with no draws. Your fam want them trees. Gentile Christ delights is deadly. Winds of change is hot breeze. Wouldn't even bless you with a sneeze. You hate the father, I hate your generation. Sisters know better, need to put away Kevin Bacon. But they foot loose, they not steady. Devils got y'all thoughts shred like confetti. Shred them up. Distractions, sports actions, massive. Thanks for the rhyme. Thank you, y'all. Lost in the mind, see the clouds rain. Seahawks, penguins, half moon stars, sharp gloves of Robert England, Ready. eunuch in the house of Yah, Yah. servant of the king, spark off the bling, eat your rice crispy treat, won't wear the shoes, BB King blues, when that thrill's gone, you take on... Shalom Israel, this is Judith Nazareth, uh, I, just, I just made a video earlier today, but uh, I kind of want to touch on something else. Um, we notice these uh, so-called New Testament guys like to avoid certain things, right? And, uh, you know, I, I watch them sometimes just for, you know, well, what these niggas are pretty much here for, like entertainment. Like, I'm not learning anything from these niggas, you know, whatever, right? So anyways, uh, you know, I, I want to delve into the uh, the uh, so-called New Testament a bit. And um, I know that my old video I have of people were asking me questions. Now I want to answer their questions back. Particularly, there were Edomites on my page who were asking questions. Now, I have the full collated Codex Sinaiticus in the Greek, okay? Fully, right? So, so I'll come in and I'll do, I have a Greek, uh, um, the Greek dictionary as well. So we can go on to that. But before we get into that, to the head lob session with those guys with that, we want to, uh, Ask one West, you know, like what, what the problem is or like, you know, like why, you know, even so-called New Testament dudes, they're like, man, these New Testament dudes are ducking you. Like, like they want New Testament people to like battle Torah Knights and beat them. But there's a problem. Like they can't do it. Like no matter what they say, they, they just can't do it. Let me get one little second. Give me one second. Hold on, hold on. One second, y'all. Bear with me one second. Bear with me one second. Um, 
there's certain groups like uh, Neo Santos Saints who keeps uh, asking, uh, um, um, you know, people to, to you know, um, I'm sorry, give me one second. I think this is what we want here. Hold on. Give me one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One second. All right. I'll get to that. Lay that right there. So they're trying to get people to like believe believe in this holy birth shit, and it's like it's bullshit. Like it's not supported by the Torah and the prophets. It's it's witchcraft. Anything that's like trying to lead you away from you know Yahweh your God into some other shit is witchcraft. Plain and simple. It straight tells you that that I think it's uh, to Samuel that uh you know rebellion is counted as witchcraft, and that's what it is. These niggas are rebellious as hell. Like no matter what you say to these niggas, they just it's like like Yah has a spirit put on them and they can't shake it off. So let's get into it right now before my battery runs out. So we have the Codex Sinaiticus, okay? We're just gonna do a little bit of compare contrast, right? As you can see, you have the uh, King James Version, KGV, which the uh, false prophets use, and the Codex Sinaiticus, which we'll be uh, bringing out in some time in the uh, very near future. And as you can see, they pretty much like will line up here, but if you scroll on down, scroll on down, scroll on down, you see it's all, look, it's all the same, look. He said to them, Be ye not affrighted, you seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified, he is risen, he is not here, behold the place where he later, blah blah blah. Right? Be not affrighted, right, right, he is not here, right? He's going, right? Then it gets down to chapter or verse eight. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed, neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Now it stops right there in the Codex Sinaiticus. However, in the KGV, you see that there, right? Exact same thing, right? Then it just goes down to nine and it goes all the way down. Now, when Jesus was risen early in the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom had cast seven devils. All right? It keeps on going nine through 20, right? As you can see that, right? Well, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. The Codex Sinaiticus is the oldest. So the question begs, where did verses nine through 20 come from? Of course, you're not going to get any one West Israel or uh, heathens to uh, to answer that question. They simply aren't going to do that now, because their job is to deceive, not to tell the truth. Now, oh, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. We're not done. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's keep, let's see, if we, I think there's more. Hmm. The Lord's Prayer, Codex Sinaiticus, KGV. Fa Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, as in heaven, so upon earth. Give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we ourselves forgive everyone that is indebted to us and bring us not to, to, into temptation. Hmm. But in the KGV, there's a whole lot of more extra other shit. Now, I just want to ask, who wrote that? Like, who changed the original to this modern day shit? Who did that? Well, let's just keep it going. The, the woman caught in adultery, John 8, Chapter 8, 3, 3 and 11. Completely absent in the Codex Sinaiticus. KGV version. Hmm. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. Hmm. That, that's odd. That's, that's very odd. Wait a minute. Hmm. Significant verses omitted. Codex Sinaiticus. Omits carried up into heaven, leaving no ascension in the Gospels. Omits son of God. But in the KGV... It came to pass while he blessed them, he was parted from heaven and he was carried up into heaven. Which the Codex Sinaiticus is the oldest. Why is it in the KGV? Who put that in there? Omits the Son of God in Mark 1 1, which we all agree that the, Mark is supposed to be the oldest of the Gospels. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. But in the Codex Sinaiticus, the oldest version, that's not in there. In Luke 9 55 56, but he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit you are, for the Son of Man does not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them, and they went to another village. In the Codex Sinaiticus, this is not present. Wait a minute. So who is writing the shit in the in the KGV? Hmm. Alterations perhaps due to later theological beliefs. Jesus stretched Codex Sinaiticus, Jesus stretched angry, stretched out his hand and touched them. Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand and touched him and said unto him, I will be you clean. Codex Sinaiticus, but of that day and hour, no man knows, no, not the angels of heaven, neither the son, but the father only. 
But of that day, honor and hour, hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So we just want to ask why or where did these new additions come from? Okay, we'll try to make, keep this short. The Codex Sinaiticus, handwritten on animal skins in the dead Greek language, the Sinai Bible was purchased by the British Museum from the Soviet government in 1933, is now displayed in the British Library in London, blah, 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 right? The great comparative value of the Sinai Bible as the world's oldest available Bible is today universally accepted, and its discovery provided great embarrassment for the church's modern-day presentation of Jesus Christ, for it revealed that newer Gospels are depositories of large amounts of fabricated narratives and intentional perversions of the truth. So when you see one West Camp's teaching, well, we do the gospel, ock, we do the gospel, ock, nigga, listen, nigga, you're a goddamn Jesuit. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You're a demon and a false prophet. The Vatican concedes that Mark was the first gospel written, Catholic Encyclopedia, and later became the prototype of the gospels of Matthew and Luke. In the Sinai Bible's version of the gospel of Mark, we see dramatic variations from its modern day counterpart, with extraordinary omissions that later became the central doctrine of the Christian faith. The resurrection appearances of the gospel of Jesus Christ and his subsequent ascension into heaven, which is not in the Sinaiticus, but are in the later KGV written, we want to ask, who put that in there? The false gospels passages written by Catholic priests. The Sinai's Bible version of the gospel of Mark starts its story of Jesus Christ when he was about the age of 30. No reference is made to Mary, a virgin birth. You hear that, Neil Santo Wanks? You niggas are false prophets. Joseph of Arimathea is not in the Codex Sinaiticus. The star of Bethlehem and the three magician, the sorcerers, is not present in the Codex Sinaiticus. Or the 51 now so-called Old Testament messianic prophecies. Remember how we always cut the so-called New Testament by the, by the so-called prophecies of the New Testament with the Torah and they get chopped up and bladed up? That's because they're not present in the Codex Sinaiticus, but they're present in the KGV, which is false. So that one West, the KGV is the closest to the, 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 oh, the Hebrew. Nigga, you're a liar. You're a goddamn demon, okay? Words describing Christ as a son of God do not appear in the opening narrative of the Gospel of Mark in the Codex Sinaiticus as they do in today's Bibles, okay? And the modern day family tree tracing a messianic bloodline back to King David is non existent in the Codex Sinaiticus. It is not existent in the earliest New Testament. Who wrote this shit in there? No resurrection in, the, in no Christianity. The Sinai's Bible version of the Gospel of Mark ends with the story of Mary Magdalene arriving at the tomb and finding it empty. Yet in modern day versions of the Gospel of Mark, resurrection narratives now appear. In verses 16, um, chapter 16, 9 through 20, as we already went in there, and the Vatican uni, uh, universally acknowledges these, these are forgeries. So anyone saying, Jesus Christ died for your sins, nigga, you are a Jesuit. You are a Catholic. If you are talking about Jesus comes from David, if you are talking about he fits the prophecies of the Torah, if you are talking about the, the, the star of, of, of uh, Baphomet and the three magi sorcerers coming to do whatever, if you talk any of that shit, you are a false Prophet, period. Let's keep it going. Oh, we don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, this thing you can find this. This is called um, uh, 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 the New Testament forgeries by by Bushby. Look that up. You can read it yourself. That, that all this shit was all put in there later on. Okay. Straight up. The Sinai Bible carries a conflicting version of events surrounding the raising of Lazarus and reveals an extra, extraordinary omission that later became the central doctrine of the Christian faith. The resurrection appearances of Jesus Christ and his ascension into heaven. No supernatural appearances of a resurrected Jesus Christ is recorded in any Gospels of Mark, but a description of over 500 words now, now appears in modern Bibles. And you can go on and we'll get to that. We can get to this in a later thing or whatever. I just want to ask the false prophets. Okay. Jesuit demon, can you please answer why the New Testament now adds in... I'll answer the question. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want I was on. I want the truth. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay. He can't, we can't answer the truth. Okay, you're dismissed, nigga, because you don't want to tell us the truth. All right. We'll get to him later. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. Israel Doctrine, can you please tell us why the so-called New Testament today has later additions 
such as the Ascension, the Davidic bloodline, virgin birth, and all those other things that are not apparent in the modern, I'm sorry, in the oldest so-called New Testament. I'll answer the question. Okay, Carl Israel Doctor. You want answers? I yeah. think I'm entitled to yeah, I'm entitled to it. I want the truth, Israel Doctor. Oh, damn it. I guess we get the same answer from this guy. Okay, he can't answer that question. You're dismissed, nigga. You ain't gonna tell us. Oh, uh, Rakar Shiar. Can you please tell us why your KGV has later additions such as the Ascension, the Resurrection, Virgin Birth, Joseph of Arimathea, Three Wise Men Magi, and a whole bunch of other bullshit, and even a false, uh, 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 what is it, um, opening prayer, uh, f uh, prayer to the Father, I forgot what they call that shit. Can you answer why that's later added into the newer KGV? I'll answer the question. Okay. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? Yes. Uh, nigga still didn't tell us why. Okay, nigga, you're dismissed. Damn, these niggas just don't want. General Yahara, can you and ISUPK, you guys are out on the street with your paramilitary gear. Can you please answer why your so-called New Testament has later additions, such as a resurrection, Joseph of Arimathea, a virgin birth, an ascension into heaven, and all these things that are not present in you know that are not present in the oldest New Testament or uh, New Testament. I'm sorry but present in your KGV Freemasonic New Testament that was, you know, can you please tell us who wrote that shit in there? Who added these later editions? Please tell us. I'll answer the question. Okay, Yana, please answer the question. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? Yes. You want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Oh, damn. I guess this nigga ain't going to answer the question. Okay, you're dismissed. Nigga. Oh. Alazar Ban Tahar. You say you have 100% truth. Can you tell us why there's an ascension, a resurrection, a virgin birth, and all this bullshit that's not in the oldest so-called New Testament, but is now added into the so-called KGV, Freemasonic, New Edition, Jesuit, Catholic, Freemasonic bullshit that you guys read and teach our people? Okay, whenever you're ready, sir. Okay. I'll answer the question. All right, Tahar, answer the question. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? Yes. Well, damn, are these niggas ever going to tell the truth? We're going to keep him up here. I know, Ice Cube, I know. The fuck? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hmm. Let's see something real quick. Okay. Oh, I know, little white girl. This shit's amazing, right? I, right? Shit's damn amazing. I know. We just can't get the truth out of these niggas, you know? It's like, you know, I know, Will, right? You know? Well, actually, Independence Day, you're going to come pick them niggas up in a spaceship, right? Oh, okay. That's another subject. Oh, okay. <sighs> I know, little sis, right? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. These niggas can't tell us the truth. What is the truth? You know? But let's see. Okay, let's just go back here real quick. Okay, let's see. Okay, what? Hmm. I think we're getting the truth. Yahweh Shai is the real Lucifer light bearer. Hmm. Can that be why they hate the Torah Knights? Hmm. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of that. Yahweh Shai is the real Lucifer. GMS, okay, GMS admitted the truth. Okay, a little bit of the truth there. Wait a minute. Hmm. Jesus, aka Idol Shai, doing the same pose as Baphomet. Okay, now we're getting close. We're getting we're getting close. We're getting close. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll answer the question. Okay. You want answers? Yeah. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. Yeah. You can't handle the truth. This is the truth. Okay? That's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. I'll answer the question. Okay, answer the question. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want yes. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Oh, so Jesus is Lucifer. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, is, is this why you never answer Torah nights? Can, Tahar, I mean, Al-Azhar, what? It's kind of hard which one to decide. You guys are both mulatto, Haitian, Negro cult leaders. I don't know. Whatever the fuck. But... I'll answer the question. Okay, Tar. Answer the question. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? Yes. You want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Hmm. Okay. Well... All right. So we found out what the truth is, haven't we, folks? Haven't we? That their, their idol shy is none other than Lucifer. Right? 
Baphomet. Okay? Okay? We, we got the truth. Now, I want to get something real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 13. Okay, let's, let's, get, let's get the head, who, the guy who has 100% truth. Okay? And, uh, and, the new, and the new comfy. Okay? Combined. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 1. The entire word I command you, you shall observe and you shall do. You shall not add to it. You shall not subtract from it. Which means don't be adding no fake-ass New Testaments along with the Torah and the prophets because it don't match up. And those 51 prophecies of Jebus don't add up. Okay? We already killed that with GOCC. Okay? It don't add up. This is why Alazar don't believe in the so-called New Testament because he's smart enough to know that the shit is fake. But it makes money. Okay? Witchcraft. Divining for money. Okay? N nothing more than a fortune teller. Don't they offer... You know, they offer to tell you your fortune and your future if you give them money. Well, that's the same shit these niggas are doing. They're witchcraft. They're enchanters. Deuteronomy 13, verse... Let's keep it going. If there should stand up in the midst a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he produce a, you a sign or a wonder, and a sign or a wonder comes about about what he spoke to you, saying, Let us follow gods of others that you did not know, and we shall worship them. Do not hearken to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of a dream, for Yahweh your God is testing you to know whether you love Yahweh your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Yahweh your God shall you follow, and him shall you fear. His commandments shall you observe, and to his voice shall you hearken. Him shall you serve, and to him shall you cleave. And that prophet and that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death, for he has spoken perversions against Yahweh your God, who takes you out of the land of Egypt, and he redeems you from the house of slavery, to make you stray from the path on which Yahweh your God has commanded you to go. And you should destroy the evil from your midst, so you already know what it is. Verse 10. Rather, you shall surely kill him. Your hands shall be the first against him to kill him, and the hands of the entire people afterwards. Okay? Hmm. Okay, no, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. See how much time we got here. Wait, hold on. Okay, we got a little bit of time. Hold on. Let's get that real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get this. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Barely one second. Let's get to Ezekiel 14, verse 9. Ezekiel 14, verse 9. There to go fourteen verse nine. Okay, Ezekiel fourteen verse nine. Hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, Tahar Al Zar, can you tell us why there are later additions and why you're telling us to? Why do you keep saying Adam shot next to Yahweh's name when Deuteronomy six verse four tells us Yahweh Akkad? Take it away. I'll answer the question. Okay. 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 You want answers? Yes. Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want yes, sir. I want to. Okay, so wait a minute. I guess the truth is what? Ezekiel chapter 14, uh, verse 9. And if a false prophet is enticed and makes a declaration, I, Yahweh, have enticed that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand against him, and I will destroy him from amidst my people Israel. Wait a minute. Hmm? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. So Yahweh enticed these guys to be false prophets. That's the truth. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 14. Son of man, I'm sorry, verse 3. Son of man, these men have brought up the idols upon their heart and have placed a stumbling block of their iniquity opposite their faces. Shall I then make myself accessible to them? Wait a minute. Verse 5. In order to seize the house of Israel for what is in their heart, although they have withdrawn themselves from me with their idols, all of them. Therefore, say this to the house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh Elohim. Return or turn away from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. For any man of the house of Israel or the stranger who sojourns in Israel, who withdraws himself from me and brings up the idols upon his heart and sets the stumbling block of his iniquity opposite his face and yet comes to the prophet to seek an answer of me through him, I, Yahweh, will respond to him for my sake. I will set my anger against that man. I will set him for a sign and for parables. and will cut him off from amidst my people. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. So wait a minute, wait a minute. What do Yahweh say? And if that false prophet is enticed and makes a declaration, I Yahweh have enticed that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand against him and will destroy him from amidst my people Israel. Okay, that's the truth. Okay, this this is the truth that they don't want you to know about. The truth, witchcraft, Negroes. I I told you, and our people are all about it. They they love it. We're going to show you they love it. 
Hold on, where is it? Our people love. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, rebellion. One Samuel fifteen verse twenty three. Rebellion is is counted as a sin of witchcraft. I want to get to where it says our people love. Our people love witchcraft. Hold on. Where is that? I'm sorry. Give me one second. Spirit of deceit. Uh, Helen Titus false prophets. Uh, hold on. Give me one second. Where is it? Where is it? I'm sorry, you guys. There's a scripture in here that says our people love witchcraft. Well, let's get to Isaiah chapter 2 real quick. Bear with me. All right, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Y'all want the truth? I'll answer the question. Okay. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? Yes. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. The truth is Isaiah chapter 2, verse 6. For you have abandoned your people, the house of Jacob, because they were filled with the sorceries of the east and divinations, divinations like the Philistines, and they content themselves with the children of foreigners. No, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I think we're going to find that. Okay, wait, wait. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 2. Let's get that real quick. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 2. Hmm. Ezekiel 16, verse 2. Ezekiel 16, verse 2. Hmm. I wonder why these niggas keep talking about some damn idol shy. Remember, so let it be a curse unto these niggas. Okay, now wait a minute. Let's get it again. Y'all niggas want to admit it now? You guys are worshiping Lucifer, Satan? Okay, Tahar, answer it. You want answers? Yes, I'll Alazar. You want One West, answer. The truth. You can't handle the truth. This is the truth. These niggas are witchcraft practitioners. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 2. Thus says uh, Yahweh Alahayim to Jerusalem. You're de this is this is er uh, allegorical, by the way. This is not talking about literally. But this is talking about how our people are into witchcraft. Your dwelling place and your birthplace are the land of the Canaanites. Your father was an Amorite and your mother was an Hittite. And as for your birth, on the day you were born, your umbilical cord was not cut, nor were you washed with water to smooth your skin, nor were you salted, nor were you swaddled. No eye pitied you to do any of these things for you to show you compassion. You were cast out on the open field because of the, lo the loathsomeness of your being on the day you were born. Then I passed you, and I saw you wallowing in your blood, and I said to you, In your blood you shall live. And I said, In your blood you shall live. And I made you as numerous as the plants of the field. You increased and grew, and you became to, to have great charm. Breast developed and your hair sprouted, but you were naked and bare. I passed by you and I saw you, and behold, your time was the time of love. And I spread the hem of my garment over you and covered your nakedness. And I took an oath to you and entered into a covenant with you, the word of Yahweh Alahayim. And you became mine. I bathed you with water and I washed you, your blood from you, and I anointed you with oil. So it's basically going on. Hold on. But it says, but you trusted in your beauty and you became uh, uh, licentious because of your fame. You poured forth your holotries upon every passerby to be his. So you took of your garment and made yourself a harlequin platform, and you were licentious with them. This should have not been and should not recur. Then you took your beautiful objects from my gold and my silver that I gave you, which is from the temple, and you made yourself male images and were licentious with them. You took your embroidered garments and covered them, and my oil and my incense you placed before them. My bread that I gave you, and I fed you fine flour, oil, and honey, and placed before them for a satisfying aroma, and so it was. Then you took your sons and daughters whom you begot for me, and though these you slaughtered for them to devour. Was your house so trivial that you slew my children and gave them away by passing them over to your idols? These niggas are idolaters and witchcraft practitioners. That's the truth. Okay? This is a truth they don't want you to know. There is a hidden hand that, that runs these niggas. That's the truth. They hate the Torah. Let's keep it going. I'll answer the question. Answer the question, nigga. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? Yes. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Well, see, Torah nice can handle the truth. You know? The truth is these niggas are idolaters. Okay? Let's get something real quick. Then we're going to close it out because it's not going to be too long. These guys start off their, their quote-unquote teachings, put you under the spell with the bullshit, okay? With the bullshit. Now, so t tell them, Tahar, when y'all start off y'all's lessons, do you guys not say, all praise and glory to the Most High, why Adoshai? Now, wait a minute. 
please tell them why Moses says this, or Yahweh says this through Moses. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, O Israel, not GMS, not Sakari 666, not GOCC, not ISUPK, not any witchcraft group, but the house of Israel. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh is our God. Yahweh is one and only. You shall love Yahweh your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your resources. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Yahweh Akkad. We can get this in Hebrew. Look, Yahweh Akkad. Yahweh Akkad. Not Ba Idol Shai. Now, can you please tell the people why you are telling the people to worship Jebus? I'll answer the question. Okay, I'll answer it. You want answers? Yes, nigga. Yes, nigga. Hmm. Okay, that seems funny because the truth seems to be the wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. That, that begs another question. Tahar, what is the truth? I'll answer the question. Okay. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? Yes. You the truth. You can't handle the truth. Okay. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let's see what the truth is. Let's get the Psalm 119 real quick. Hmm. Let's get that real quick because we're trying to get. We want to get to the truth, you know. We're not getting we're not getting the truth with these niggas, okay? We're getting a bunch of lies and witchcraft, okay? Wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. What is it? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna give you one last time. Because we're almost out of power in, our, in the camera. Alazar, Tahar, whatever, One West Jesuit, Rosicrucian group, do you want to tell the truth before I play it again? I'll answer the question. Okay, nigga. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want yes. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. But we can not handle the truth because, let's see, Psalm 119, verse 145. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 142. My bad. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your what is the truth? What does that say? And your Torah is the truth. But see, when they speak, they will cloud that over. They will say, oh, this truth, this truth. Well, what is the truth to heart? What's the truth? What, is, what, is, what, is, what did King David and the prophets say that, that the truth was? I'll answer the question. Okay. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your Torah is the truth. Wa Thawarathak, your Torah, Amath, is the truth. Now, how come these niggas don't study the Torah or teach it? Hmm. Okay, wait a minute. We're going to close this out in a second. Let me just get this real quick. Okay, hold on. Before we close this out, I'm going to ask you one last time. Nigga popes, what is the truth? Because the Torah says, the, the Psalms say the Torah is the truth. You guys say out of side the truth. You guys say virgin birth is the truth. You guys say him being related to King David is the truth. This, that, the other. He's a son of God and the only begotten son of God and he was here before and blah, 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 all this bullshit. Do you want to answer the truth or answer why you teach this bullshit to our people? I'll answer the question. Okay. You want answers? Yes. I All right, so we found out that the Torah is the truth. Psalm verse 1. Praiseworthy is the man who has not walked in the counsel of the wicked and stood not in the path of the sinful and sat not in the session of scorners. But his desire is in the Torah of Yahweh, and in his Torah he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree deeply rooted alongside brooks of water that yields its fruit in its season and whose leaf never withers. And everything that he does will succeed. Not so the wicked. Rather, they are like the chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked shall not be vindicated in judgment, nor the sinful in the assembly of the righteous. For Yahweh attends the way of the righteous. Remember that Psalm 119, verse 142? The righteous, while the way of the wicked, niggas who have a so-called New Testament with added additions from the Catholic Church of complete bullshit, okay? That shit will be what? It will perish. He, for he attends the way of the righteous, while the way of the wicked will perish. With their bullshit 
will perish. They are like the chaff in the wind. Now, before we close this out, do you have any last words? I'll answer the question. Okay. You want answers? Yes. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Uh, exactly. And with that, we're out. Shalom. Heaven forbid you end up alone. You don't know why. Heaven forbid you end up alone. You don't know why. Heaven forbid you end up alone. You don't know why. Don't